Andy in downtown Denver too. Let's take a look at the scene in Larimer Square. Copter 4 got a scan of Tivoli Brewing uh, Brewery getting ready to host 20,000 people at a watch party there. Restaurants in McGregor Square are also expanding their service space. Michelle, even Coloradans who don't know much about hockey are getting swept up in the spirit. And if you can't catch the game or you can't catch the game there live at Ball Arena, you may be among many who are heading down to a watch party downtown to catch the action. Now, Mackenzie O'Keefe, she's inside Ball Arena. She has the best seat in the house, truly. And you know what? You have places like the Tivoli. You have a McGregor Square. You have all these places that are going on tonight. All right. So what do we have for uh, everyone who wants to watch the game? Absolutely. So many options. And uh, with ticket, the cost of tickets to get in here to this game, uh, a lot of people are going to be going to those watch parties, those big parties around the Denver metro area. So the biggest one we've been talking about, the Tivoli, uh, this is all made possible because the city of Denver is helping restaurants to be able to expand their uh, capacity due to changing some of their permitting restrictions. So we'll tell you a little bit about that. Until now, there was restrictions on those permitting process. The expansion of liquor license areas required a 30-day wait period, but for the remainder of the abs run, the city is now waiving that rule. So that means bars and restaurants can expand even outdoors into parking lots, tents, grassy areas, and that's really to serve more people and to host a watch party. So far, only three businesses have applied. Ball Arena here, McGregor Square, and then Tivoli's across the street. And Tivoli's is getting ready to expand into the quad with a lot of fun, exciting things, and they say they're ready. So when you look out the front door of the tap house, the entire green, um, we're having, there's a stage, there's food trucks, there's a bunch of alcohol partners that are bringing in all kinds of promotional items. To have an event this size right in front of our brewery uh, doesn't get much better than that. And they said that they are expecting up to 20,000 people to take part in that watch party, unlike anything they've ever hosted before. Again, Ball Arena also applied for this uh, expansion permit. And any Denver businesses that still wish to do so can apply to that as well. So a lot of exciting things going on. And they are also out there on the ice now getting that a little bit ready, too. So a lot of excitement heading into game <laughs> one tonight, guys. How exciting is that? And, you know, you're, you're near some very expensive seats. We were looking <laughs> earlier today on Ticketmaster. I think the cheapest one was 1000 bucks yeah. again. Yeah, we were actually looking the one right here behind us, uh, 104. That one seat is over three thousand dollars, so wow. very, very yeah. high. All right, I think a lot of people are going to go to that watch party you were just talking <laughs> about because of those prices. All right, Mackenzie, we'll talk to you very soon. And in order to take down the back-to-back -back defending champs, it's going to be hard, right? But you better have.